Hello everybody, Nick here at Skog and Dickie. We appreciate you coming back for another one of our weekly tech videos. We're back in our conference room. We got actually a couple quick videos for you before we head into some of the bigger projects for the year. In today's tech video, we're gonna be covering LSNLT rear main seals. Before you turn the video off and go look at something else, this actually is something pretty important. We know we discussed some of this stuff before. This is actually something new we're carrying, and if you're drag racing, running a vacuum pump, or even an aftermarket dry sump setup in drag racing, or in road racing, or road course setups, this is actually something that pertains to you pretty heavily, so follow along. Now, when I say something with a vacuum pump, you might be thinking of this monstrosity that came on the uh, 2014 and up LT truck engines. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the big boy stuff, real racing stuff. Guys that run crankcase vacuum pumps to pick up that extra little bit of horsepower. Vacuum pumps help evacuate you know, crankcase vapors like a PCV system does, but running a vacuum, it gets to evacuate more of it. And as a byproduct that helps with piston ring seal, and it helps with horsepower. You now have a vacuum helping pull that piston back down in a cylinder. Pretty useful, they've been using it for many years. We actually have a bunch of uh, our big blocks in the back. Pretty common to get one of those built with that. But the LS and LT world, the more they go racing, the more they're starting to use this same technology. Now, like some of those big blocks, small blocks, other brands over the years, they have found solutions when problems arise running these kinds of systems. One of them are seals. Your engine is sealed even though you're running a crankcase evacuation, you know, evac setup of some sort, whether it be the stock PCV system, a catch can, or a vacuum pump. But when you run a vacuum pump or even a multi-stage dry sum aftermarket setup for your oiling system, that crankcase vacuum can be too much for a stock seal. And what I mean is, just like the one on this LS rear cover. Now the LS and the LT do use the same style rear main seal, so this will work for both of them. This is an LS rear cover with the stock steel in it. And you can even see the difference here. You can see the difference between how they're shaped and how they're made. These are made out of a nice high quality Viton rubber. They are reinforced and rigid. They are a nice low drag setup, but there's a couple reasons in their design why it'll help in that setup. Now, if you are running that vacuum pump or something with a lot of crankcase vacuum in it, what you get is the seal will actually start to bow and pull around the crankshaft. Now that causes a couple issues. One, you are running a vacuum pump to suck some of that vacuum, to pull a vacuum on that crankcase to pull the oil vapors out, to help with piston ring seal, and like I said, also helps in horsepower. Well, if this isn't sealing properly, it's not actually helping you at all. And believe me, when we dyno our engines on our engine dyno, we monitor a lot of things. We monitor air fuel ratios, oil pressure, coolant temps. We monitor more than that though, and take air temperatures, oil temperatures. One of the things we monitor is crankcase pressure. Sometimes even if you're not running a vacuum pump style setup, like I'm talking about, you can actually diagnose when an engine's not running right due to some of these issues. These here, we started to notice on the LS and LTs in high crankcase vacuum situations, these would start to bow out of the way from the crank and would start sucking air through, defeating the entire purpose of running one of those pumps. This is reinforced to not only hold its shape, but it's also even a low drag setup, so it isn't so heavily sprung and so tight around the crankshaft that it's even causing drag, because that's another thing you gotta worry about. And that low drag setup does come into play in you know stuff that's turning a lot of RPM. You gotta think about it. I know it's only little percentages of horsepower, but in racing, every little bit helps. No, this isn't exactly a street topic that we're covering here. Most 99% of you street guys, you'll run the stock seal and you'll be perfectly fine. But for you racing guys, for the LS and LT platform, this is gonna be a big help for you guys that are running vacuum pumps or dry sump setups. They pull a lot of crankcase vacuum as well. They can run into the same problems. In this stock seal distorting enough on the crankshaft, if it's distorted, run through temp cycles for too long, well, then it actually loses its ability to seal at all. And you will find in the paddock at idle, you'll start developing some oil leaks. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind. Now we do appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We do these every Friday. We try to cover as many top topics as possible, whether we're talking about LS, LT, small block, big block, things as simple as your seals 
or things as big as dyno videos and camshaft tests. So make sure to give us a like, subscribe, share, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff so you can follow along. And we will see you guys next week for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.